What's up guys, Melody Monkey here, and today I'm bringing you a video uh, about FIFA 12 as a whole and whether it is dying its death at the moment. Okay, so I mentioned this in my last video how I was finding FIFA 12 not very entertaining, um, quite boring to be honest, and uh, it was just not becoming fun anymore. So I'm going to go over like various things in the game. Um, like the game mode that entertain me, used to entertain me, entertain me now and uh, why we're obviously finding it boring okay so first I'm gonna start with uh, the reasons we're probably finding it a little bit boring uh, reason is the game's been out for quite a few months now what are we, we're in the third month so if it's been out more than six months, I think it's seven months it's been out now and for the majority of people that probably listen to my videos the m game they play the most is probably FIFA so if you imagine having like uh, when you were younger, a toy for seven months, that wouldn't satisfy you. I know you've grown older and become more patient, but it's still not something that entertains you. Seven months is a long time to try and be patient with something. Even with the amount of features FIFA 12 has, it still is going to be boring for the majority of people after seven months, uh, even like the most patient person there is. So that's probably one reason we're finding it boring. Another reason is it's just w people on it have changed it people have changed from uh, having fun on it to now playing more serious to playing for the win so we're finding it maybe a little bit more difficult um, so we're just not as happy with it people are obviously not finding the game as fun so they're going uh, instead of building for example an ultimate team like a, a quite a fun hybrid squad they're going back to these Brazilian silver squads uh, something unoriginal that they know they're good with uh, that's probably going to last until the end of FIFA uh, because they're in the same situation as you it's just they've decided that they're going to make a solid team that's going to beat quite a lot of people because that's the only enjoyment they can get out of the game at the moment Another reason I believe is because of FIFA Street. FIFA Street is coming out soon and obviously people are really hyped about that uh, especially because the demo came out. People are, um, were excited even before the demo came out for FIFA uh, Street. There were, it's just a lot of hype around FIFA Street so people are, are desperate to play FIFA Street rather than FIFA. Um, it's like when FIFA 13 will come out people will probably stop playing FIFA 12 and FIFA, uh, FIFA Street because They'll be hyped up for FIFA um, 13. I think it's especially worse because they released the demo a month early. Now, I know a month may seem like not a long time, but it is a long time to quite a lot of people. Well, even to me, it seems like a long time before the actual game comes out. So, you exhaust the demo within a week, and you've still got another three to wait before the game comes out, which you can lose all your your excitement about the game then, and everything just becomes a case of waiting for FIFA Street. It doesn't become... Uh, enjoyable, so that's probably a reason why I'm a little bit uh, bored of FIFA 12 as it is. So, of course, there's a lot of game modes in FIFA Street, and we've probably exhausted them all now. That's probably why we're getting a little bit bored. But for example, Ultimate Team, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, everybody's gone to their traditional squads and is just going for the win now, so we'll find it a little bit more difficult, maybe, or just not entertaining as we did before. Not as entertaining, sorry. Uh, so that that's that's a reason I'd say I'm not enjoying it. I'm not. I'm winning games still, but I'm not uh, enjoying it as much. Like, I've got a Birmingham team at the moment. I did this on FIFA 11. This is like my last resort on FIFA 11. It's just, I'm so, I've got to the point where I've absolutely exhausted all the teams that I can actually make, and I've now resorted to just building a team that I want to play with because I support them. <laughs> uh, I genuinely think um, that's the reason. Other game modes, Pro Clubs is one of my favourite game modes. I'm still enjoying playing that. Uh, just not as much as I was before, um, unfortunately. It's still a really, really good game mode to play, and I that is probably the game mode I enjoy playing the most uh, at the moment. But still, I'm just not quite enjoying it um, at the uh, as much as I used to. Uh, FIFA 12 the whole definitely, but not pro clubs. I'm just not enjoying as I, much as I used to. But I'm still enjoying pro clubs. Head to seasons. I never really caught on to that anyway. I was never really a big head to head seasons player. Uh, it was too slow paced for me. Uh, I'm not going to go into like in depth about head to head seasons. It was too slow for me, and I just didn't enjoy playing with full teams, uh, like a club. So I never caught onto it anyway. But even when I go and play it now, it's not that entertaining because uh, I'm like still in Division Nine because that's how many games I played. Like I've played like 15 games, I believe, um, and I'm just stuck down there. I win majority of my games like there's no real challenge of it. I don't want to sound like big headed about that, but there is no real challenge because people have been playing it for so long that they're now up in division 2 uh, 3 and 1 so to me that's not an option 
there is some other game modes that I haven't experienced though, which is like two v twos, uh, or just generally changing around the f like the FIFA itself, like changing the camera angle, like end to end. Which I'll link uh, Cannon Top's video who did uh, like a video on two v twos and um, end to end, how it can make FIFA better for you. I'll link him in the description uh, with, the, with those videos. It, but I'm not into entertaining myself with FIFA. <laughs> I'm finding Modern Warfare 3 more entertaining at the moment, which I never used to. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I, I stream it for you guys because I know you guys enjoy it. Um, but I'm trying to think. Of, there's no real other game modes that I n ever really played on FIFA itself. It's career mode, obviously, doing a series on that. I do enjoy that, but the FIFA 12 career mode was really hyped up. I was looking forward to really playing it. It was like the honeymoon period of the game. It was really, really good. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Uh, this is absolutely awesome, this career mode. But now, looking back, they've just added a couple of features. And it still needs to be more advanced than it is at the moment. I'm sorry, there's nothing against EA. But it it does, for those people that play career mode on offline. Um, so that's, that's probably why we're not enjoying FIFA 13. I decided I'd put a mixture of gameplay in the background here, just for those who want to experience both gameplays, <laughs> FIFA 12 and FIFA Street. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, please leave a like on it now, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if we could get to maybe 35 likes again. Yeah, we'll go for 35 likes. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like if you enjoyed it and you've stuck through this six and a half minutes. Uh, I should have um, a manager mode coming out tomorrow and maybe quest for best on Thursday. So look forward to those guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.